Welcome to Auto Key Security Services. Today I am working on a CLS 300 model year 2008, I believe. This was a no start. Did not start, no ignition, no nothing. It's a common problem. I don't know if you can see that piece back there. That's the ignition ignition dock back there they become stuck and the car won't start and right now I just temporarily took it down to get access to it banged it with a hammer a couple times to get it to unlock it has unlocked so now I can remove it and it has unlocked and the car has started now I'm gonna fit an emulator on it. Got the laptop there and program it in uh, to finish this job up. I'll be back momentarily when I when I have the computer out and I'm doing the programming of the emulator. Or once it's programmed, we'll show y'all. Okay, the steering column is fitted back on. But now before anything, you know, we were we're moving a lot of stuff around. We want to make sure that our steering angle sensor is close to zero when, or on zero when we put it back on. It's a big mistake a lot of people make. They'll put it on, steer wheel straight, they'll mess up the uh, they'll mess up the, the clock spring in there. Because they put it uh, turn, one turn over too much, like one full turn over too much. But that's why you go into the scanner, you check your steering angle sensor. And right there, I'm at zero, so I know I'm good to start. I know I'm okay to go down there and start putting that on. Alright, I'll be back in a little bit when I'm programming in the. Uh, All right, I'm currently here right now doing the the password calculation. I'm currently doing the data acquisition in fast mode on the table. And as soon as I get the password on the screen, I walk into the process of programming the emulator. Okay. We have our our data acquisition. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in desktop in the folder that I made for this car. It was uh, 2008 Benz CLS 300. I'm gonna save that right there. Acquisition has finished, and now. We're going to do upload data to 2008 Mercedes Benz CLS 300. Upload it. It has completed. Has completed. Now we have to query our results. It takes a couple minutes. So it's already there. We're going to query the results. All right, so calculating requires 50 seconds. In 50 seconds, we're going to proceed from there. Okay, we have the password. That's the key password right now. What I like to do, I like to do uh, I like to do a uh, a screenshot. So that's going to be the Windows Shift and the S. And I could snip this right here because I have lost it on the screen. And either way, it'll always stay, it, not always, it'll stay for a little while on your data acquisition um, menu. But I like to have it right there, I like to put it right here. 
So I'm gonna save this as save this as key password. Key password. And I'm saving that in the same folder that I saved the uh, acquisition. Alright, so now we have our key password. We I have already read the EIS. So now I'm gonna go to ESL2s. Okay, I think I'm, oh, <laughs> I'm trying to do the buttons on the, uh, on the snapshot. Okay, so now we're gonna do electronic steering lock tools. I am going to load ESL data, which is the data, where did I save it to? Uh, yeah, it did save it. I should go all files, all files, and that's the one that I read, EIS, IR. Alright, so it's not supported. Alright, give me one second. I'm gonna. Uh, it is hooked up. No, I'm sorry. I did something dumb. I'm gonna go right here. I'm gonna load the this data right here. Here you go. Now the key password. I forgot to copy it. Let me go back to uh, password calculation quarter results. This is the password right here. Copy. Now I'm gonna go back to ESL2s. I'm gonna load the EIS data and the key password, I'm gonna paste it. That's the key password right there. And I don't think I need the erase password. I can leave that as zero because this is an emulator. Now I'm gonna take one of the emulators. It's plugged up. And you see when you put in and it's not programmed the light should have a red light somewhere. Oh, I gotta power it differently because I'm not doing the data extraction no more. So I have to pat. I have to power it up to here. Okay. So now it's powered up. This should have had a red light. Let me see. It's hard to do this with one key. All right, give me one second so I can rewire this for regular mode, not password mode. Okay, so the, the red light is on, meaning that it's not a valid, this won't, the car won't turn on because this EIS has not been programmed. This ES L emulator has not been programmed. I have all the data right there. Now let's go. I loaded that. I loaded that. Those are my key hashes. And I want to do automatic personalization. And let's go ahead and write data. One sec, let me take the key out. This is one of the ones from MK3. I haven't used one of these. I always use the uh, the one from BBDI. I mean from um, X Horse. Give me one second. Let me figure out what's going on here. Okay, I was able to write it. I had to unplug the uh, EIS for some reason. They didn't want to write with the EIS plugged in. 
You see, I got the writing data. Please wait. It's asking me, do you use ESL emulator for ESL? Yes. So writing data success. Now let's read the ESL data. Okay, EIS status is closed. All right, let me hook the If you hear kids shuffling around in the background, it's because they're not listening to me. Well, I'm asking for them to just be quiet for one second while I produce this video. So if you hear them, sorry about that. All right, like EIS is hooked up to the ESL. No light, no red light no more. Yeah, this should be green, I'm gonna put it in. Okay, there we go. And I was able to open it. And now let's check the status on it. Okay, I was able to read it. Hold on a second. Give me one second. This is becoming a pain in the butt. Okay, everything is fine. I had to, uh, I had to bend the pins for them to make better contact. You see, now I can read it without any problem. Okay, right now, ESL is closed. You see the red light is on. I'm going to put the uh, key in there. Green light. Got the switch open. Now I'm going to read the ESL data again. And as you say, ESL open. That's fine, maybe it's just like that, but it is valid because light is green. Everything here is fine. This will start the car. Now I'm gonna go back to the car, hook it up, and proceed from there. See you in a little bit. Okay, I'm back at the Mercedes. I have temporarily plugged in the EI the EIS and the emulator is plugged in now I'm gonna put the key in take your key from your ignition and we have lights power action sorry about that and the car has started up successfully. The uh, emulator worked fine. It did program fine the first time. There was just a problem with the connections on the actual adapter that I used that I got from Xforce. The 204 fast adapter to on bench adapter to do all the programming on bench. I took it out because I tried to do the adaption with the uh, EIS still in the car and it failed twice. So I just pulled it out and then I decided to do a video on it. Well, car started. Uh, steering wheel is hooked back up as I said earlier. Make sure to uh, make sure your steering angle sensor is on the zero position or close to it before you hook up your linkage. Make up your wheels are straight. Make sure your wheels are straight as well. And this car is ready to go. Another happy customer. So you made it made it this long. Thanks for watching. And uh, I have trouble with these with this app that I'm using for video for making videos. If anybody can recommend any good. Uh, video app for Android you know that I can peri periodically pause the video and then continue recording in the same spot there's uh, a couple apps I've been using but they're nothing but trouble I want to try to make 
I want to try to make other videos. If anybody can recommend any good, um, even if they're paid, even if I have to pay for the apps, you know that we just make it easier, streamline this. It's, it's, it's hard. I don't have time to edit this. I'm always working on cars and I really don't have time to edit videos, but I want to try to push this content out to you guys. So everybody gets a, you know, I'll be sharing some knowledge, you know, help somebody out. Maybe when they're stuck, maybe this video will help somebody. Well, you made it this far. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more interesting content.